predicting uh, extreme responses of systems with uncertainty, a part of the uh, area of water waves has important application in a variety of other systems uh, like power grids and um, we're very interested to characterize the conditions that may lead to a critical event. Um, other areas which are of, of high uh, importance for the occurrence of extreme event is climate. It's very interesting to be able to predict when these extreme events will occur and the, the, the challenge by just relying on um, high fidelity numerical methods is, that the, com is the computational cost. So we need to develop uh, methodologies that will be able to combine data and dynamics in, in schemes that will be able to give us these answers. So right now we, are, we have uh, been able to demonstrate uh, the validity of, uh, of a new method for the prediction of, of extreme responses in the ocean. Our efforts have focused on the validation of our methods using synthetic data, data generated from high fidelity codes. And now we want to go to the next step of using real data, real measurements from uh, the ocean through satellites or radars to deal with more realistic situations. As a next step, we plan to extend this work in other systems, transportation networks, power grid networks. So we are interested on uh, predicting properties of, uh, of complex fluid flows. Complex fluid flows can be encountered in a, in a variety of engineering and environmental disciplines, weather prediction, um, engineering applications like fluid flow around, uh, around the, uh, the hull of a ship or um, around an airplane. In all of these cases we have to deal with turbulent fluid flows and um, the problem is that uh, these are characterized by high complexity. If one wants to deal with this, they have to use really high fidelity or high resolution in these numerical simulations. So our, our goal is to try to avoid this by essentially using uh, mathematical techniques uh, involving uncertainty, involving uh, nonlinear dynamics, we have come up with uh, reduced order uh, methodologies which allows us to characterize the per and predict the performance of these uh, dynamical systems with a minimal cost, with, with um, algorithms that are able to run on a laptop instead of a cluster. We have developed a dynamical system uh, approach that allows us to perform order reduction in these systems. We have demonstrated this approach in a high dimensional uh, dynamical system involving baroclinic uh, turbulence, uh, modeling high latitude oceans. And um, our efforts uh, right now are, um, are, are focusing on the application of this approach in engineering flows. Uh, we are currently working on uh, the reduced order modeling of a jet in a cross flow, which is very popular in a variety of engineering uh, disciplines. So I think industries that could benefit from our um, computational schemes would be energy harvesting from water waves, energy harvesting for smaller, for powering smaller uh, devices. Also, industries involved in um, computational development of computational schemes for uh, engineering applications.